take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. You can begin by first pinching easily done with your hand in the middle of the longer side of the can. The next step requires you wearing tough shoes. You then step on the can already pinched in the middle, until it is flat. Then stomp on it a few more times to make sure uncrushed parts get flattened. Take our lead. 2000 cans at. How many cans do you need to make $100? 2000 cans at stated CRV value of 5 cents per can. You'd need $100 per 5 cents equals 2000 cans to get $100. If you got the above by weight price of $1.60 per pound, you'd need 62.5 pounds of cans to get your $100. At 31 cans per pound, you'd need 1938 cans. Make your mark, take our lead. Crushing each can will allow you to fit more aluminum into each bag or bin and that in turn will lead to a higher payout for you when you go to the recycling center. If you crush the cans, they are also a less appealing space for pests or insects. Point four January 2020. Let's help you make your mark. But you shouldn't crush cans in a single stream system. That's because it's harder for the electrical current which helps separate out aluminum cans at municipal recycling facilities to identify them as cans when they're crushed. So keep cans as intact as possible for when you recycle cans in single stream systems. Point two nine August 2019. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.